All righty, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Sunday, the 26th of February, 2023, which was our return day to full-time gaming after having a couple of days there where it was mostly React content that I was putting out uh, on YouTube. So, today, today's Level 1 podcast was interesting. I talked a lot about things that had happened with the React content over the last two days over on the DSP Reacts channel, notably a lot of demonetization and annoying things, but also trying to field some ideas from my viewers on things that I should do in the future. For example, what could be a good long form React to do in the, the month of March? So I strongly recommend <clears throat> you check out the, the Level 1 podcast from this morning if you're interested in uh, hearing about all that and maybe even participating but by commenting on that video and leaving me your feedback. I would love some feedback on that, okay? Today's first gameplay stream was the uh, continuation of Hogwarts Legacy, which I haven't played in a week. Yes, that's right. Last week, we had a big push to finish up lingering content, so I ended up finishing One Piece Odyssey, and then we had a double new release day. So we haven't played Hogwarts in a freaking week, and we finally got back to it today, which I'm happy because it was a good stream. It was chill fun. We advanced a few side plot lines. We actually advanced the main plot a bit to unlock the ability to rescue <laughs> the fantastic beasts and put them into a safe room inside of the school which essentially is kind of like almost virtual pets in a way but if you take care of them then you get items that you can then craft <clears throat> new abilities for your uh outfits so you could have like better defense better offense based on what abilities you put on each piece of equipment that you have equipped so finally we got that part of the game unlocked we also continued on with other side content as well missions and things that i ran into and actually did a lot of open world stuff we started going to the hamlets and things around the school and doing side missions around there so in general <clears throat> today there was a lot of progress in hogwarts legacy and i had a really great time with that okay then on the late stream it was chill oblivion fun as we did two hours of elder scrolls for oblivion tonight 100 percent dark brotherhood this Dark Brotherhood plotline is so involved, it's crazy. Someone actually said to me, there's like, did they say 35? I think they said there's 35 different missions in the Dark Brotherhood. And I started thinking in my head, <clears throat> how many did I do for the for the vampire? Like maybe five? How many did I do for Ochiva? Maybe five? How many did I do for Lucian Lachance? Maybe a few. And then after that, we went to the Dead Drops, which probably I've done between five and 10 tonight. So I'm thinking I'm around 20 to 25 right now, okay? We got to a critical point in the Dark Brotherhood questline where the whole questline gets flipped on its head. It's a spin and a twist I wasn't expecting, but it's super fun. You know, we're actually getting a lot of money and actually being able to do a lot of interesting things, getting some good equipment. So it's it's panning out. It's, it's turning out to be worth the giant time investment um, to do it for sure. So I'm happy I'm doing it and people are enjoying. They're engaging, supporting. Great. Great streams today, in general. For two, what we consider more chill streams, absolutely a great streaming day. And we did make a little bit of headway with members because we only have two days left in February to hit the members goal. That's it. Now, the good news is after today's rallying, we have less than 100 members needed to hit the members goal. But we only have Monday and Tuesday. That's it. So if we don't hit the members goal by the end of Tuesday streaming, it looks like we're not doing... A retro challenge event which i'd love to do um in march but it looks like it's not going to happen all right it's not the end of the world if it doesn't at the same time to have a nice rallying of support here at the end of the month would be great and amazing if you like the content i put out on dsp gaming and you want to support that channel and see that retro games challenge event please please consider contributing uh via a membership or gifted membership in the next two days okay now What's going on tomorrow? Well, more gameplay tomorrow, but now we're swapping over to some different games. <clears throat> we'll have a chill level one podcast in the morning. I'll cover any game news that I happen to see. And then it's going to be the continuation of Like a Dragon Ishin on the first stream. Really like this game. It's definitely in the same vein as the more classic like Yakuza 4, Yakuza 5 games, which I really enjoyed. And I like that it's a you know samurai setting and we've got an interesting plot and some side content opening up. It's been good. I'm looking forward to another three hour session of it. Uh, tomorrow i hope you'll join me for that on the first stream and then the late stream tomorrow is going to be modern warfare 2 multiplayer yeah that's right i did a stream of mo multiplayer about a week ago and i had a great time the connections were actually good i was getting kill streaks and having fun so i'd like to do more of that tomorrow night i hope people will show up and support it i know it's kind of random to do that because i never said that i was going to continue to play this multiplayer consistently and this is kind of a one-off stream to fill a night stream but 
I'm hoping people will, will show up and have a good time with me, okay? So that's tomorrow, completely kind of a different day. But also over on DSP React, we've got videos coming out. The next part of me reacting to the Pro Jared documentary will be released. And the next part of DSP versus the internet will also be released. And tonight, I'm going to watch episode 7 of The Last of Us with my wife. And we're going to, uh, you know, talk about it. And I'm going to do a review of that tomorrow on DSP React. So there is a lot of content on DSP React as well. If, if you know, maybe the games don't interest you. You can head over there and watch some of the React style stuff. Okay, guys? That is it. Two days left. I hope we can hit this member's goal. Thank you so very much for a chill streaming day. I'll see you all in the morning. Peace out. Have a good night.